This is the official launch of our P.O. Box. Hello and welcome to a special episode of Bungle Collects. As you may have guessed by the uh, the sign on the on the map there, this is the official launch of our P.O. Box. So... For those of you that can't see, I'll zoom in a little bit. So it's a little, so it's nice and clear. So if uh, you want to write into the channel, if you want to do any trades, uh, for all you guys who've uh, very kindly uh, asked to send us something, uh, and we've it's up to this point we've uh, we've declined. Uh, now's the opportunity. So if you want to write into us, uh, please, uh, like Christopher says on his, please don't feel obliged to. But I see we've had so many people asking. Uh, say they want to write to us or send us something or trade with us or what have you um that we've, we've took the plunge and we've invested in a uh, an official p.o box so there it is it's bungle collects p.o box 1077 stockton on tees ts 191za so really looking forward to uh to that now with lady m to have yeah. an hour to open an hour first uh, p.o box that's been sent to uh that's been sent to there um let's move it to one side i've got a few things to tell you why i'm here um we want to tell you what we got for christmas we're going to tell you some up and coming things that are coming with the channel uh, but also we have actually got a couple of things that we need to open on camera that we've already been uh, we've already been sent um, so it wasn't sent to the po box it got to us via via other other ways uh, so we've got this package and we've also got a package from absolute coins as well so um this comes from uh, from guernsey and i see that side there's guernsey written there absolutely amazing stamp so i've had this since the 23rd i think of december uh, where are we now lady m is it the is it 8th 8th, 8th, and, I think, 8th yeah. of january so it's um i've been dying to open it but i didn't want to open it until uh, the p the official po box was set up so that I could open it uh, on video and make it as part of the publicity for that so do you want to do the honors lady m because i think it's well it's well taped down i think you're gonna have to use your trusty scissors to try and try mm. and get into there if you All possibly right. can how uh, about we just maybe Careful. Don't damage it. I can't wait to open this. And the person who sent it as well from, from Guernsey uh, wants to remain anonymous. So she, uh, she asked me not to, to say who it was from. Uh, unless she's changed her mind, of course, and it's inside the envelope, but I can't give it away. I just know her as Tomato Helen. That's all I know her as. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a pseudonym. Are you there, Lady M? I think so. Great. Off we go. See, see what's in. It's okay, you'll have to mm. do that way, I think. Oh. Not as easy as, easy as it looks. Oh, there we go. Ooh. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Any idea what that says, Lady M? Something, something. I'm reading upside down, which is a disadvantage. I leave it. But... Could be could be in a foreign language with it being from Guernsey. <laughs> could it could be in a mm. non non English quite easily. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't read it. Sorry, Tomato Helen. I uh, I don't know what that says, but it's absolutely fantastic. I, I, mean, I love I've, it. It's Class. it's it's handmade, isn't it? So. Yeah. Oh my word! Look at this. Look at this. It's a it's a nest of coins. <gasps> right. Let's stick them. Mm. Well, I don't know what you, I don't know what we earn at, but okay. So we'll keep them there to have a look. So wishing everyone a Bungle Collects Coins a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This little card has been handmade locally, and it says, "Ah, here we go." I.e. Merry Christmas in Guernsey French. Not something I or many others speak. Hope oh, you like the coins. I think that's how you pronounce it. Go on then. Buan <laughs> Yeah, Buan Nua. No, no, that sounded. I think that may have gone more Welsh. So absolutely, I told you it was foreign though, didn't I? I did I yeah. at least recognise that. Yeah. So absolutely, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Awesome. Love it. Uh, and Dre Tack Broadband Routers, Firewalls, VPN, and Sunning products is on there as well. I'm not sure what that. Yeah, it's hiding. Oh, is it? Hiding. Hang on then. Oh, the sender's name. very good. Yes, that's why it's right. There. I see. Yeah, so it's part of the anonymous thing. So yeah, <laughs> thanks very much, Tamara Helen. Really appreciate, uh, re really appreciate that coin and all the trouble awesome. that's there. Uh, that uh, whoever's gone to make that is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. Right, let's have a look at the uh, and Merry Christmas to to, to you guys as well. Happy New Year. Aye. Oh, look oh, at that! 
Oh, look at that. Absolutely amazing. The so, Disney ones. Yeah, well, they're, well, they're called Disney. They're not technically Disney, no, are they? No, we, everyone associates, associates yes. uh, Disney with Cinderella, but they bought it off. Is it? Is it a grim? Is it a grim yeah, fairy tale a or grim, uh, Hans Christian Andersen? Yeah, it's all that side of things, definitely. Yeah, but they're absolutely amazing. The, the Cinderella. Oh, they're all there. I know. That's oh crazy. my word! It's the full set. It or is. tomato, Helen. That is absolutely amazing. That is so so generous. I know. Oh, I'm what a set! I'm overwhelmed. I didn't. I didn't realise that that that's what they were. They are absolutely oh, they awesome. Are absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. We could just do a video on this. I was only wanting to do a ten minute video. We're already five minutes in. We've already opened the first package. Absolutely fan fantastic. Oh, oh, I've, gone, I've gone. I've gone too far. So we've got the uh, the Jack and the Beanstalk. They're absolutely beautiful. So yeah. intricate. And the cost that they're circulated in there, Guernsey, aren't they? Are they really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's where they. That's where they. That's where they come from. Yowzers! There's Aladdin. Oh, they are class. I, I, I am absolutely overwhelmed. Are you? Yeah. Unreal. Dick Whitting, Whittington. Snow White. Oh. And the Seven Dwarfs. That's gorgeous. That it's like shaped in the apple. The, the outline of it. Oh, yes. There's the, like, the stalk. Yeah, yeah. Do I need to get my cocktail stick out just to point the apple out? <laughs> You're not pointing your dirty cocktail stick at my no, lovely new coins. I haven't changed it yet. Oh, they're yours, are they? Oh, yeah. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> Lady M's claimed these. So, yeah, there's, the, there's the, the little fig thing for the thing, and then the apple goes all the way around there for Snow White's apple. Just an excuse to get your cocktail uh, <laughs> cocktail stick out. And Cinderella, have you got a favourite, Lady M? Is the one that, uh, <sighs> one that jumps out? I'm a big fan of Snow White. Yeah, I mean we are, we are massive Disney fans anyway, yeah. aren't we? So anything that's even tentatively related to Disney is. Uh, I do, is I do fantastic. like the Cinderella one as well because I like the pumpkin. Yeah. I'm a fan of pumpkin. Oh pumpkins. wow! Honestly, and thank thank you so oh, much. My that word. is that is, that yeah, is absol absolutely absolutely oh, class. It really is absolutely amazing. I, I don't think we're ever gonna. A buzzing. We're, we're, we're never gonna top this, are we? That's gonna be that's the best. That is the best ever. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love it. Absolutely yeah, it's very, love very, it. very kind as well. You really didn't need to wear, uh, you really didn't need to do that. But oh, amazing. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right, let's uh, this well, this is gonna be a letdown now, isn't it? From uh, from Absolute Coins. So it's uh it's well, it's in it's in too big a package really. I'm not even sure it'll all it'll all fit on the uh, all fit on the screen. Can, can I zoom out anymore? No, I can't. That's as far as I can get. Right. So yeah, this is this is guaranteed to be a letdown. Some it'll be it'll be some tat. You know. <laughs> but this this is his. Um, oh, we should have, we should have half prepared this. Really. This is his talk and effort as well. I think because we got, we we got him a present in me when we went to the mint, and he got us absolutely nothing. <laughs> so I think we shamed him into way getting us a, getting us a present. Oh, that'll come out. Hang on, you put it over there. Oh, oh. It's fancy. Fancy done. Ah. To a bungalow lady M. Merry Christmas from Absolute Coins. Can you see? Oh, hang on, mate. Silver. Oh, yeah. Can't quite see oh. that. I'll oh. take the cardboard out from underneath. All right, thank you. But yeah, we need to do something with the lights as well, lady M. We're getting that flicker if we go too, if we zoom oh. in too close. Okay. And I shouldn't have messed about with them, should I? No. Anyway, so there's the, there's the tag. Thank you very much. And then, is it is it is it wrapped as well? Yes. Oh, he's done a he's done a good job. Yeah. He's probably spent more on the packaging than he did on the. Uh, and we did on the actual present, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, it feels like a frame or something. You know, some, something like that, like some kind of picture. Yeah, do you want to, yeah, it's going to be that way, I think. Do you want to do, you want to do the honours, Lady M? We must have shares in salad tape as well. I think I every single say, part is, uh, is stuck down. <laughs> that type of guy that you want to make sure he doesn't accidentally open. Big believer in the five P's, I, I, I believe, is all <laughs> absolute coin, coins. Prior preparation prevents poor performance. Oh, some good prep here. Yeah. Prep and execution. Oh, there we go. That's just, just nice. Bungle it in. All right. Boom <laughs> fit. Oh, he's even got that, that fancy wrapping paper as well with the oh, squares on, you know, yeah, so you can cut it. Christine. Oh, oh is Marks it? and Spencers. Marks Probably and Sparks. <laughs> yeah, how's this? Oh, well, we're going to get a big reveal here, lady. I mean, it is a picture <laughs> indeed. <laughs> what can this be? I'll have to take it on and off. Spin it over. Oh my <laughs> word! Oh, I tell you what, he's excelled himself there, hasn't he? Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, it is brilliant. an half. Yeah. So <laughs> those of you that haven't seen it, um, 
Uh, oh, I can't say. I can't say. It's a university challenge, but for numerists. Oh, new, 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 numismatic numismatic challenge, challenge. Something like that. Numismatically challenged. So yeah. So Lady M and I were on a team. Al was the uh, the, the the quiz master. King Oreo and Coin Cupboard were on another team, and Christopher and Total Coins were on uh, on another team as well. So I'll I'll oh, it was it, it was a great video, and uh, oh, I so I'm actually funny. really overwhelmed with that. It's class. That is that re that really is uh, that really is the business, isn't well, it? It's going to take pride of place in Bungle Collect Studio. Yeah, he probably just wants us to link it in the video now because that's probably what it's, that's probably what it's all about. So yeah, so if you haven't seen that video, then you definitely need to watch oh, it. Oh yeah, it's, it's uh, good fun. It is. We had an absolute hoot uh, film we with Lady M. Yeah. So, Thank you so much, Absolute Coins. Really, really uh, awesome. over, overwhelmed with that. Thank you. Oh, it's like Christmas Thank you so all much. Over again. I know it is, and you know, and it's uh, say I've had to hold wait on so long before we did it, but um, there was certainly it was certainly worth uh, certainly worth yeah. waiting for. So I'll just, let me just flash that to you again. Uh, it'll be it'll be in the description below, and it'll also be in the description of every video of our uh, our PO, uh, official PO box address. So, right, while we're here, let's talk about some other things that we've either done or that are up and coming. So we want to say hello to uh, to Alana. We've done some 10p, uh, 10p swaps with uh, with Alana. We met Alana and her dad, Craig, at the Mint last time that we uh, that we went at the beginning of December. So we've uh, we swapped some 10p coins and Alana's uh, got them. Uh, she got them today, I think. So Fantastic. hope that hopefully that you enjoy, enjoy that. I uh, want to say thank you to Shui08 because um, in our 50p hunt, I suppose I better get it, in our 50 pence hunt, or a couple of 50 pence hunts ago, we uh, we put Paddington at the Palace in our album and I didn't notice that it had the Dan Temple crisp packet error uh, and I put it in the album, but Shui08 certainly noticed it. So I want to do a shout out to you. So... There we go. I probably can't zoom too far because it'll start to wet. It'll start to flicker. So, oh, cocktail stick. <laughs> Don't miss a trick there, Bungle. So there's Paddington at the Palace, uh, 2018 coin. And at the bottom there, you can see a little splodge. Let me get a bit closer without it flickering. So there's like a little, the little splodge. What's supposed to be there is just a line like that, and you can just about see the line. And there's a little, there's a little splodge. Here. Can you see it, Lady? I'd probably need it right in front of my face to see it, but yeah. Hang on, that's probably a better light. So there oh, it is. Oh yes, I can see it that's there. That's like the nobles shirt in the yeah. light. Yeah, and it was Dan Temple that brought it to where uh, to our attention. So that is officially known as the Dan Temple crisp packet error. So who knows how many's out there? But uh, if we find any, we're certainly going to keep hold of them. So a big thank you to uh, to Shui for that. Want to say thank you to Coin Crazy. So Coin Crazy, Coin Crazy. Um, let us know about an error on the 2016 pound. Um, so basically what he said was the, the, you've got a 2016, oh well, hang on. I've not prepared this very well, have I? Hang on, have I got me? Honestly. Have I got me handy? I'm just excusing while he rummages in his drawers. Yeah, I don't know what I've done with it. And I'm also stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck to, uh, I'm stuck to a plastic bag. He's got the, uh... The bubble wrap stuck to his slippers. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, dearie me. Hang on, I've just got What's all this about the five P's? I know, I'm normally so well prepared as well. No, they're not in there, I don't know what I've... Uh... It's not in that one on the top, is it? What's one on the top? The box that you've got out on the top. No. Oh well, I can't think, I can't think what I've done with that. Who knows? Where have, I, where have I put them? I wouldn't care. I was only I was only sorting out the coin collection the other day, and I moved I moved them from where they were. Get this is blue wrapping. <laughs> I moved them from where they were to uh, to somewhere else, and Sorry. clearly I don't know where they are. Anyway, so on the pound coin, you have got two thousand and sixteen. Um, the date on uh, one side, on the opposite side, there's a there's a micro date that goes around the outside. You can only see it on a microscope, and some of them are dated two thousand and seventeen apparently. So have a look out for that. Thanks to Coin Crazy. Um, I suppose while we're talking about pounds, it's also important that I'll be at your phone, Lady M. We'll, uh, we'll segue into that. So Dave Barrett, let us know about the cross crosslet that you can sometimes found, find on the one pound from 2016. So Lady M's going to just flash it in with a phone here. Uh, is she? Yeah, but I'll have to do some adjustments because it's got you won't. details at the top. Oh, all oh, right. Well, that was yeah. silly, wasn't it? Well, just, there you go. Just that. Oh, okay. okay. Right, that's there fine. Right. I didn't actually get it off. So that's a um. So that's the that's the the new pound. Um. So the side with the 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 crown and the kind of 
Tisserly thing or whatever it is on there. So right in that in that bottom corner there, that's it, the cross crosslet. So there was only apparently 10,000 minted in 2016 and they're in the bunk packs for 2016. So the year that it went from the old round pound to the new pound. Um, 100, 10,000 of them, I think it was 10,000. Might be 100,000, I think it's 10, don't know. Not many anyway. So if you get a 2016 uh, pound, you need to be looking for two things. One for that cross crosslet on that on one side and then also actually it's on the same side the micro date is also um is also around the outside here so it's kind of in in this groove and then goes all the way around oh i just accidentally <laughs> uh, put a picture of yourself on there as well as a self-portrait <laughs> darren sent me that he said that uh he'd, uh, he'd see me on the walls in, a, in an rbs in there uh, in scotland so so yeah thanks for caledonian coins for uh for that one that little in, bit of impromptu there <laughs> Um, so that's that one. What else have we got to? What else have we got to say? Um, don't forget, we're stamping Benjamin bunnies. So um, look out for a Benjamin bunny with a B for bungle on it, or an L and an M for Lady M. So we find them in the in the live streams. The uh, we stamp them with a punch, and then we put them into circulation. So do keep uh, do keep hold of uh, of that. Uh, we want to do some Christmas presents. Should we do yours, Lady M? So yeah. this is what uh, this is what I got Lady M for for Christmas. So that is the. 10 pence N for NHS, which is one of my favourites. And that is a 2018, 18, yeah. See you there, and the change checker packaging. And I also got, no, my absolute favourite 10 pence is the R, and that is the silver proof. So, Take it out of the packaging from the, from the Royal Mint. See if we can get a bit of a closer look. So it comes in the acrylic block. I'm not quite sure how much it's managed to get twisted, but yeah, you can you can you can take the top from the bottom. You can pull that top block out and then spin the capsule inside. Oh, has it got a capsule in? I was going to say you're not touching it with your mints. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, it's a magnet, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... Well, that is absolutely stunning. Love it. So that is a 2018 also. The detail on them is phenomenal. Perfect. I'll look in there. Father Christmas I had previously, which I think we've showed on a video, which is 2018 from Gibraltar. But I now have the next one, which is the 2019. I am a fan of Father Christmas. Or anything Christmas, really. Yeah. Then I've got the beautiful snowman. This is the 2018 Silver Proof. I do prefer this design to this year's design. Last year's now. Uh, oh yeah, last year's. Pop that out. Absolutely beautiful in the case there. It's class. Lovely. Are we going to display it somewhere, do you think? Yeah. And that's the other side. The quality is phenomenal, is it, on it Silver is Proof? It is. So detailed. Beautiful. You flash that up. Yep, so that's a certificate of authenticity. So it was uh, 10,955. Can't remember how many they made, was it? Oh, that's Andy's right in here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so they made 15,000 in this presentation with a maximum mintage of 20,000. So I think they'll be worth uh, worth a few quid in, in years to come. Mm -hmm. So that's all, the, that's all the spec 50p in sterling silver, 8 grams. Same diameter, everything else is exactly the same. Jodie Clark's the ob obverse designer. Jodie Clark's a man. <laughs> uh, and the reverse designer is Natasha Ratcliffe. Nice. Is there, a, is there, a, are there any initials on? Natasha. Is there an NR on there somewhere? I wonder. Maybe. Can't see anything. Must have a closer look. Not to hand anyway. 
wonder if it's on there. If anyone knows where the uh, artist's initials are, let me know they if, are, they? if they are indeed on there. Not sure. There you go, lady. Was that it, lady? Is that yeah. all I got you? Uh, no, oh. and there was, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to show you it properly. I'm just going to show that I got a, a ten pence as a key ring, but I'm not going to show you the side because it, uh, it'll give away one of my initials. Yeah. So, you can have a guess, of course, if you want to have a guess what uh, what letter that is on there. Right? I can't tell what date it is because... 2018. I know oh, it's, it's drilled, drilled right away. Right so, it. so, me Christmas-wise, so Lady M got me, uh, got me these. So, I got this uh, when we went... Was it last time or the time before we went to the Royal Mint? It's the very first time. So, it's... Oh, was it the very... Was it? Was it really? All oh, right, uh, kept it that long, have I you? So, yeah. so yeah, it's the uh, Star Wars uh, Star Wars stamps and R two D two token. So let's take it out with it. Let's take it out the pack because I am a big Star Wars fan, and uh, Lady M knows that R two D two is is probably my favourite character. I've got a few um, models of him, if you like. Um, so yeah, so absolutely amazing. This I haven't read it yet. I've been keeping it kind of under wraps. That will give you the information about what R two D two does and how resourceful he is, what films he's appeared in, who his masters have been over the uh, over over the years. And that's all his, uh, his technical specifications, which I just think is absolutely amazing. Absolutely <laughs> amazing, yeah. Like a blueprint of him. <laughs> we could build him. And there's the, uh, there's the, the, the details, the specification of the, uh, of the token. So 15,000 limited mintage, 38.45 uh, millimeters in diameter. A little bit weighty, so it's made of Cuban nickel, same as a 50 pence, brilliant, uncirculated uh, metal design. Oh, that metal, I call it Glyn Davies. So, yeah, I like that side of yeah, it as well. Oh, right, yeah, it's, it's give, it, give it a bit of a close up. There it is. So, that's where she's given uh, R2 the Death Star plans in episode four. I'll show you another what close up on the other side as well. So, well pleased for that. I'm not sure what's behind him, looks like he's in goal. I think. Looks like he's got a looks like he's got a goal behind him. Look as though he's yeah, you know, trying it. to stop a ball going. I don't go think past he ever him. played football. No, I don't think he did. So yeah, thank you, Lady M, for for that. Um, I've got a couple of uh, special coins off uh, Nana J. So I got this uh, this super rare half penny. Um, I'm not going to be able, un unfortunately I'm not going to be able to eat it because I uh, started a diet three days ago. So um, I'm probably just going to keep this until it uh, till it rots. Technical specification. Um, it's in uh, calories, 525 calories per 100 grams. So it'll be, uh, it'll be half of that because it's at uh, 50, 50 grams in there uh, in weight. And it's, uh, yeah, it's the, it's the half penny piece. Slightly bigger than, uh, than uh, the uh, old half penny that you used to, that you used to get. Yeah, you absolutely. might imagine carrying them around in your pocket. Uh, and then I've got these if I ever want to do an impromptu, uh, impromptu coin hunt as well. Again, it's got the, uh, it's got the old, uh, the old big 10 pence in. Um, the old big five p, as well as uh, the biggest two pence you'll probably ever see, probably ever see in your life, and there's even some notes in there as well. Uh, oh, fifty pound note, we're rich, we're rich lady. Yeah. So thanks very much to uh, to Nana J. Um, I have been able to locate where I put the ten pence, so I should have just looked up. Actually, put it here. Uh, two thousand eighteen. You mean the pound? Oh, I mean a pound. <laughs> you know what I mean, lady. Um, You've put two thousand eighteen pound though. You were saying yeah, it was a sixteen. No, it was, but I, I don't have I don't have any of the errors on. Oh, but I'm, right. I'm keeping a, a few two thousand eighteen um, pounds because they are rel relatively low mintage compared to Let's other see. years of, of of the pounds. So I'm keeping a few. So that cross crosslet thing yeah. I was talking about. Oh, thank you, cocktail stick. So on the pound, it'll be it'll be down here. So a little little cross down there. Um, but it's only on the two thousand sixteen. So if you got a two thousand sixteen on this side on the uh, on the obverse, there's two things you need to look on the reverse. So first and foremost, is there a little cross crosslet down there? And if it is, it's the one that's been come out of the uh, the brilliant uncirculated pack. Uh, the one that commemorated the old round pound and the new round pound. And the other thing is you need to be looking around here. So in there, it, it, it can just about maybe see it there. There's a two, if that says 2018, and it's and it's all the way around. There's a little micro date, and there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. So if you've got a 2016 pound coin, flip it over on the other side, microscope, have a look. If you've got 2017, then you've got yourself an error coin. So... Um, yeah, thanks to those that give us that level of information. I'll just zoom back out. These are just some of me. I suppose a quick look while I'm here. So these are my uh, 2018 potters that we, we've kept. 
Uh, these are some 2016, just a, a mixture, and then just you know other coins from uh, from this year and a, the odd couple of couple of pounds I've kept um, that, I, that I haven't gone in, into my uh, into my album. So that's that. Right. What else have we got? To, what else have we got to say? I didn't realise he had so much to say, Lady mm. M. Um, oh, you've missed one. Have you oh, I have. Oh, sorry. Yes, I have. Yeah, I got this. Uh, got this off Ellie. So this is a 2016 Peter Rabbit, and it's got the is it the the, the sticker on the uh, front? It's got it's, it's not. Yeah, super. Yeah, I don't know where that stickiness has come from. Anyways, let's face it, it's coming out anyway. It's yeah. not gonna stay it's not gonna stay in there, it's gonna go in the album. So yeah, this is one of Lady M's favourite coins. Uh, and I really do like this. So thank you very much, cool. Ellie, for taking the time to uh, to do that for us. Uh, and yeah, that was my Christmas present. So yeah, it's like a sticker over the over the top. Absolutely, uh, absolutely class. So that'll be going in my uh in my special special album so kind of oddities album if you like um what else is coming up so we've started doing live streams on a sunday so you can join us on a sunday at 10 o'clock and we've uh, we've just started doing basically you can you can come along and put one pound and 11 pence into our paypal account uh, and then we draw everyone who's given us one pound 11 pence we draw a name out of a hat and um, you get the chance to to select whoever wins, whoever gets selected. We do a, a live fifty pence hunt right there and then, and you get to pick the coin that you want out of that uh, out of that hunt. Uh, I really don't like that flicker, Lady M. So we've got them. We want to do a live. I'm gonna have to zoom out a bit just to try and get rid of that get rid of that flicker. Is it gonna go? It's gonna there. That's a good. It's that, it's that fire out before the flicker before the flicker goes. Um. So we've got the we're gonna we're gonna live stream at the mint. So probably in March. So March 2020, 2020 We're gonna go down the go down the royal mint. So there'll be a whole whole bunch of coin tubers going hopefully, um, as well as ourselves. And we're gonna invite you to come and join us. So you can come down to the royal mint, and we'll we'll be running a live stream probably for a couple of hours after we've done the tour. And you can come along, hunt some coin, hunt through some coins with us, or bring your own coins along. And then show them a bit like the antiques road show, a little bit like a, mm -hmm. a show and tell. So I say we've got permission from the mint to film there. So yeah, that that'll be announced. And we'll give you plenty of notice. You can come down and uh, come down and do that. Um, what else? Uh, what else? We, anything else we need to say, Lady M? Have we have we covered everything? Um, I, I can't think. Of, I can't think of anything else. I did draw. I did draw a list. Uh, list up, but I haven't really stuck to it very well or pre prepared very well. So I think, and I still think it's too early to announce what we're when we're yeah. going to do our bungle collects on tour. Okay. So we won't say uh, we won't say anything about that. I've done the live streams at the mint. Yeah. We've done that on the Sunday. We have thanked Alana, haven't we? So hopefully yeah. I'll be able to win. So Alana sent us a picture as a thank you for the coins we sent her. Awesome. So hopefully that'll be uh, that'll be inserted in the video round right about now. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, we, we did it. We did a we did an off camera ten uh, p hunt, didn't we? So those okay. of you that follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you will know that uh, last night we did a we did a a ten p hunt and a two pound hunt, and we didn't film them. And we wish we had uh, because we found we found these. Out of the first couple of bags, yeah, as well. they were out the first couple of bags as well. So we had seventy five pound. The reason why we they, they, they were loose, they, they were loose. We had seventy five pound and they were loose. They weren't in sealed bags, uh, and they were just over the counter in the post office. We thought, well, what's the chances? It really worthy of a hunt. So we just we were actually watching Andy at Coin Cupboard's live stream. Well, it, it didn't work very well. His live stream didn't. Well, he got about an hour in, and then unfortunately it crashed. So we were watching Andy doing his live stream while we hunt through the coins, and we had one of our best uh, coin hunts ever. So this one was just. Uh, just a, qu a quirky one where someone's written on it. I've got absolutely no idea what it says. No. So if anybody could decipher that or has got a clue what it says, do let us know. Or if or, it's your coin. Yeah, if it's your you coin, back in. then we have uh, then we found it. So I really have got no idea at all what that says. So we found that, so I kept that because it was pretty cool. Uh, I kept this because it's the Territories. That's in 1992 from Guernsey. We all took that pretty apt, isn't it? With Helen Tomato Helen, Helen yeah. sending us send something, <laughs> uh, something to the PO box. So we've got that. Uh, we found a 2018 I for ice cream, and of course we do not have it in the book. And we found a 2019 U, which we don't have in the book. So we have made the executive decision, Lady. Are we are we certain that we we're gonna yeah. we're gonna con we're gonna are we are we, are we so carrying scarce. through? Yeah, we are going to put them in the book. So even though we didn't find them on camera. Uh, we did find them in a hunt or we not filmed and we posted them on Instagram so we are going to put the A to Z's and the um, and the territory coins in the book so hopefully people won't be too mad with us hope people I understand think you understand yeah they're just so they're just so scarce um, that we can't resist putting them uh, putting them in because it's just too big an opportunity to uh, to miss 
So there is I for ice cream. Are you impressed how easy I got that out with it? I am, yeah. Didn't mess about at all. No messing. So there's I for ice cream. So of course we still need 2019. And uh, you, two, uh, 2019. So I was 18, you was 19. And then this is going to go. I think the, I've said it before, but the 2019s are going to be the rarest, Lady M. Yeah. They're going to be much rarer than the 2018s. That They just have to be. They're, they're so scarce. And uh, the Mint only announced one lot going into circulation and they announced two lots of the 2018s. Mm -hmm. So it's in there. So by shooters down or by, you know, we're there, we're there to be criticised, but we just cannot resist putting them into the book. So hopefully you will uh, you'll support our decision. Let us know in the comments below. And we're going to stick another Guernsey in. So it'll be our third 1992 tomato. There we go. Yeah, so there's our third one. So they're in the book. Uh, also, I suppose why I'm talking about the uh, the PO box. We've had quite a few people offering to, uh, there we go again, for those of you that don't know, but it's in the description below. Uh, we've had a few people ask if, um, did you put your snowman coins in there? Are you going to put your snowman coins in? You're yeah. going to put them in the book, yeah? Because yeah. your, your first snowman Father coin Christmas was in, Father yeah. Christmas, sorry, yeah. Your first one was in the uh, was in my book, wasn't it? But yeah. now you're, you've got the opportunity. Where you're going you to stick them, just in, just I'll in there? I'll go after my date one. Right, it? okay. Uh, just reminded me on so no so why we talk about the the PO box uh, and also we found quite a lot of comedies so we found eighteen comedies in one hunt we found another thirteen uh, in the same hunt as we did the ten p hunt last night um, so in total we've got we've got well over forty so what I've done with them is went to Lady M sticks uh, sticks that in lovely so what I've done with them um, is that if anybody wants to trade so we've got we've got well over forty now. I've got the kind of just flick that over. Yep. So I've got the I've got the twelve there. I kept I kept Lady Emma page because I, I know she was just desperate to keep a full page of <laughs> Shakespeare's because it just yeah. looks it looks so nice. So I've got them twelve. Um sorry Lady Emma. Right. I've got I've started a kind of a little lot of mini sets in my own book here. So I want I want to have a, you know the three across. So I've got I've got four there, so that's what sixteen. Um I suppose there's one in my book and one is one in Ellie's book as well. That's eighteen, and then we've still got an absolute uh, an absolute stack of them. So what I thought was, if you want to get your hands on, you want to get your hands on a comedy, we've got we've got plenty of spares with what we found in the uh, in the say that that hunt we did a, a couple of weeks ago, as well as the one we did off camera last night. So we've got plenty of comedies to spare. So if anyone wants to trade, then please do email us at bunglecollects at gmail.com and let us know what you want to trade for for, for, for these. And I'm sure we can uh, we can sort something out. So, and of course, you can send the trade to our new PO box. box yeah. yeah, so loads and loads of comedies that, that really seem to be really common where you're tripping over them. Yeah, they look yeah. nice them, Lady M. Lovely. Fantastic, so that's it. Yeah. Maybe they could yeah. just go in. Right next to them. No, I don't. I, I, I don't. Oh. <laughs> we'll decide that later. Mm, oh, I don't really like the mind. And there's five as well. It's an odd. To, well, if that's the case, then do we keep it as in kind of Christmassy? Because the pantomime, aren't they? It's the pantomime yeah, themes. It is. So you could argue this is the Christmas page. So should, yeah. do, I maybe, do I maybe give you the Peter Rabbit as well? And then we can, just because it look odd, there's five and there's, and there's four. So do we do, mm. we do that? Uh, I, I'm quite happy to do that if you want okay. to. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yep. Go on then. Let's back. Let's whack them in. Let's get them. Uh, oh, 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 my books. Oh, my books not very good. Oh dear. Oh, there you've got it. It's just a bit stuck. There we go. So there's mine. Right. What order are you going to put them in? Oh. Are they, are they, does it need to be alphabetical? Oh, that's a good idea. Because of course they're all the same. Yeah, same so words. So is it D for Dick? No, it's A for Aladdin. A for first. Aladdin. Like, no, no. I mean, what is it? Is it D for Dick or is it W for Whittingham? What would it? What would it? What would it go into? Whittington. Whittington. And yeah, we'll go with D for Dick. D for Dick. So it'll be A. <laughs> A for Aladdin. I need, C. I C for. I need your C for Cinderella. Sausage. So I'll, I'll stick Cinderella in while you're messing about with that. I'm not that that's making any difference whatsoever. So there's Cinderella in, and then it'll be D, and then what else? Have, what else have we got? J for Jack, and S. So is it S for Snow White? Yeah. Right. So, oh yeah, how are they? How are they down? Are they just stuck? Are they stuck down? No, they're inside. Wow, Tomato Helen's done a good job with them. Yes. Probably doesn't want us having our mitts all over them. But oh, sorry, God. you know what it's like. They need to be. They need to be freed and put into the uh, put into the book. So he's Dick Whittington. 
So yeah, if anyone hasn't seen these, I'm sure you can buy them. I think you need to get them from the, is it the post office that you can buy them? On the on the, the Guernsey post office, I think. I think they're about, they're about 30 quid a set. I might be making that up, don't quote me, I don't know. But uh, these are, these, oh, I still can't believe this is the score that we've got, that we've got these. Absolutely, this, this has made the uh, getting the P.O. box, even though they didn't officially come through the P.O. box, it's uh, it's it's made it already. You know, absolutely class. Um, so, J for Jack. Yeah. I'm worried about getting Snow White out. Oh, yeah, that was a bit easier. Very good. So, yeah, we found we've accidentally stumbled across a Christmas page, haven't we? Ooh. Lady M. So there it is, there's, there's the Christmas page in Lady M's book. So she's got the 2018 and 2019 Father Christmas from Gibraltar. We've got the pantomime coins from uh, from Guernsey, thanks to Tomato, Helen and all her family. And of course, we've got the uh, Peter Rabbit in a Christmas hat coin there just to make that. So yeah, we'll have to we'll have to find something to go in there now, Lady M. We'll have to yeah. try and complete, uh, complete that page. Right, I think we've done this. Is, I was honestly expecting this to be like 10 minutes, the absolute maximum. But I know, I know. It never is. I know I talk too much, don't I? So um, there's the there's the PO box. So please do uh, write to us. A letter would be absolutely smashing. Please don't feel as though you have to you have to send us any gifts. Uh, mm. If you want to do some trades, please do email us, bungalecollects at gmail.com and see what trades we can do for our uh, for our comedies. If you uh, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe, uh, like this video, leave us some comments. See what uh, you know. Leave us some comments below. To let us know what you thought of this video and some of the finds and, and what you think about us putting the A to Z coins in the in the book, even though we didn't find them on a on a on a filmed uh, a filmed hunt. We do three lots of videos a week. We do on a Monday two pound hunts, Wednesdays ten p hunts, and Fridays fifty p hunts. And for the foreseeable future, or the next few weeks at least, we're doing the Sunday live streams ten o'clock. So do come along, come and join in the chat. Again, don't feel obliged to uh, buy, uh, you know, pay into the uh, into the prize draw if you like. Just being just being there and having that chat. We had we had great fun last week. We, didn't did, we? we were yeah. on for well over an hour, weren't we? It was absolutely yeah. amazing. And I cool. have a lie down afterwards. Well, I didn't, but. <laughs> <laughs> I was knackered, I must, uh, I must admit. Right, fantastic. First ever P.O. Box episode. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.